city from some undisclosed location somewhere in the world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Jesse T. Well, 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 well. It's time for the Jesse T Show. The Brown Beauty is back on duty on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. It's good to be back with you. It's Jesse T. Hey, that's me. And we're here on a beautiful Monday in Southern California. Raining where I'm at. Is it raining where you're at? Boy, it's raining hard again. Going to be a nice rainy week. Just like over the weekend, it was pure beautiful. And then it started raining a little bit on Sunday night. We're my location in Southern California. And we got snow on the mountains. We got uh, beautiful blue oceans. We got springtime coming up here. Wow, man, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous springtime here in Southern California. And, uh, you know, you need some more money in your pocket. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Saying hi to our Facebook friends at facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero. Saying hi to Massimiliano no Sergi, great director. You got to check out some of his movies. Just to IMDB him and check out some of his movies. Great movies. And uh, he's a terrific, terrific director. He's got some uh, films out there that are just uh, so exciting. They are so exciting. Yahoo, baby. Saying hi to Martin Gigi who has us on. Terrific. One of the very best. Uh, a pianist and organist. He plays with uh, Billy Gibbons of the ZZ Tops uh, on the road, and he also uh, is a director. Last film I think he directed was 9-11, starring Whoopi Goldberg and Martin Sheehan, but he's done a lot of things. Uh, saying hi, Dan, the man out there watching, and the Jolton J. Thanks all for having us on. We are here with you for the next one hour because it's time to talk about making money. Oh, my goodness! It's Million Dollar Money Making Monday. And you know what that means. That means I try to find really cool ways for you, my friends, to make some moolah, some dinero, some money. That's what I want to do. I want to put some extra buckets in your pocket. Oh, yeah. And you know, of course, why I want to do that. I want to do that because, uh, you know, look at. If you make more money, then I make more money. Isn't that the way it works? Because you're going to buy a piece of real estate from me. And if you guys watch the show, you know that I have not only in the entertainment business, but I'm also in the real estate business. And I have been for, oh, about four decades here in Southern California. Uh, saying hi to Jose Llamas, who have us on. Mark Nouveau, Fabio, Fabio, Fabio Vieira has us on. Tell them to invest in my movies. Hey, you got to invest in Massimiliano Certes movies. Okay? That's a good way to make some money. The guy always makes money for his film investors. I mean, this guy shoots on time, under budget, puts money in your pocket, and he has distribution deals lined up before the film is even done. Before they even start. So you want to check out Massimiliano Cerce if you are into uh, making money out of the film business. But that is a risky adventure, my friends. And you've got to have some money to blow and some money to have some fun with to do that. I'm trying to talk to you today about some secure investments that will make it happen for you almost guaranteed. Or uh, My name is not Jesse T. So it's time to kick it up, put some money in your pocket, because then you'll look my way the Jesse T way, and maybe I can sell you a house, the house you've always wanted. Go to our website at www.buyjessett.com or www.sellerjessett.com. I'm looking for people who want to sell their house, guys. The market is ripe. Buyers are out there. Money is relatively cheap. It really hasn't gone up. And the highest prices ever are in Southern California, and we can make you a uh, lot of money in selling your house. And I promise you this, it's a Jesse T guarantee. If I don't sell your house during the time I said I would sell it, I will sell it for free. That's my guarantee. Hey, hey, it's me, Jesse T. Want to find out some more about what we do? Uh, www.mrsoldjessett.com as well as our Facebook site, facebook.com forward slash Jesse Torero, broker, 1-800-684-8699, our toll-free number for you and all over Southern California and this great nation we call God Bless America, the greatest country and the greatest nation mankind has ever created, the United States 
of America. Love our national anthem and love our red, white, and blue and the stripes. Absolutely. And we love you too, my friends. So uh, give us a call if we can help you out. Time now to go and get into the show. And I'd like to start the show off with a couple things. Uh, I'm going to start it off right now for those of you into real estate, since we're talking about that, and that's a sponsor of our show, Win, 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 Real Estate Loans and a Notary. Uh, I want to uh, get to that right now. So why don't we do that, huh? Saying hi to Floyd Matthews and John Pavalenko. Hey, John, what's happening? I'll hit the wave button to you. Wave, 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 wave. Talk about waves. One of my favorite actors died over the weekend, Jan Michael Vincent. Boy, he was such a handsome guy. And, you know, I just think he could have been the superstar of all superstars. He was on his way. Drugs and alcohol got in his way, though, and that was the end of his career. But uh, he was the, the, the uh, quintessential surfer boy. Isn't that the truth? Yes, we have uh, somebody calling in now. They always call in when I'm on the show. People want to call me uh, during this hour. I don't know why that is, but they always do. You never can tell what people do. Isn't that the truth? They surprise you all the time. But let's get it going right now. Get your pencils. Get your papers ready. You can always catch us on the podcast on uh, Jesse Terrell YouTube channel on the podcast after if you don't get these addresses. But I'm going to show you some pictures here of some of the best price repos, foreclosures, and auction houses in Southern California right now. These are things that you can buy right now under value. Some of them are 30 40% under value. You can buy these right now. There's 150 of them in Southern California, and I have access to every single one of them and some secret ones that I can't tell you about. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You got to contact me for those. But nevertheless, you can make money here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, Myra Bell, a boss. Well, all right, so let's check it out. Let's get that part going right now. Kicking off the real estate portion of million dollar money making Monday. talking about some great foreclosures, repos, auctions, bank-owned property, people who are in trouble with their properties. Hey, I've got the real deal for you right here. So check it out, my friends. Let's go right now. Something I found. It's a HUD repo. A HUD repo. Yeah, I can't believe it, man. This thing is so way underpriced. A HUD repo. We don't get a lot of these right now because HUD is not releasing a lot of their repos. Fannie Mae is starting to release more and more, and so is Freddie Mac. And we're going to start getting access to a lot more of those. But right now, here is a HUD repo. And uh, yeah, really, this is really cool, guys. A two-bedroom, one-bath house, 720 square feet. Now you say, well, that's not big. But you know what I always look for, folks? You know what I always look for in houses. I look for an attached garage. And there's a reason why I look for the attached garage, because the attached garage right there, look at that, man, a HUD repo right there. Can you believe that? It's a HUD repo. It was a short sale, and uh, they didn't get it sold. Now it's turned into a repo, a HUD repo right there in Lancaster. I'm showing you the picture and the address. I mean, how much easier can I make it for you, huh? I'm making it for you there. I'm not saying, I'm not secret information in here. You see it right there on the TV screen? That's right. A HUD repo now. It was a short sale. Bounced into a HUD repo. Now, you know, I always like two. I like houses that have attached garages in the front or right on the side or in the back. As long as there's an attached garage. Now, why is that? Now, if you guys have been watching the 
It's just a T-show on Monday, a million dollar money making Monday. You've learned something. And the reason why I like that is because you have an access point there to increase the value of the property because you have an attached room that's already built and with some very little improvements that don't cost a lot of money, you can turn this two bedroom, one bath house into a three bedroom, two bath house. Thereby you improve the value of the property tremendously. Okay, right now it's only priced at 115, 115, 115. Wait, 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 I, I, you guys can't, I, no, that's it. I'm not going to show you this one. No, no, no. You, you guys, you guys, you, you, you can't see this one. I, I, I don't want you to see that one. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you this one. No, no, I'm going to buy this one. It's $115,000 for a house in Southern California. I am not going to show you this house. Okay? And for those of you who are not accessing us on our YouTube channel, uh, at the YouTube Jesse Terrero. You can't see it anyway, so <laughs> so I'll give you the address. You know, you know what I'm going to do? Because you guys over there are really cool. You guys can't access it. This is my secret with you. I'm going to give you guys the address. You guys that can access it, uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Are you guys ready? One. Okay, this is for my audience that just can get us uh, by watching the Jesse T Show without all the graphics, okay? Here, you guys ready over here? All right, ready? Shh. Don't tell those other guys. Don't tell those other guys. I'm not telling you guys. I am not telling you guys about that. No. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to buy it ourselves. That's right. Okay, guys, ready? Here you go. Ready? 1109 West Old Field Street in Lancaster. Okay? 1109 West Old Field Street in in Lancaster, okay? Now, don't tell these guys over here, okay? Because they, they, they think they got the scoop on you. That's right, because they can see stuff. But I'm not, I'm not going to share this one. This is a two-bedroom, one-bath house, $115,000 in Southern California. I don't care if it's in Lancaster. It's got a two-car attached garage, built 1953. Hey, man, I'm telling you, you can turn this into a three-bedroom, two-bath house. What, what, you guys over here? You... Oh, 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 now you want to see it? Oh, oh. okay. I got to make you a promise. If I show you this uh, and you buy it, you got to come back to me, Jesse T. Okay? That's what it's all about. All right? All right. So, so you know what I'm going to do? I, I, I'm going to, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on for both of you guys. Oh, for you guys. Okay, I, I'm going to do that for you. Okay, there you go. There's a picture. Okay, you got it? All right. God, I'm so gracious. <laughs> Pauline Jester is hanging out with us. Hey, Pauline, thanks a lot. Million Dollar Money Making Monday. Let's go on to our next property, but let's go back to our huge list of 150 properties. We're going to jump ahead now. Let's see if we can find something in the beautiful San Fernando Valley. Yes, the Valley of... of you know why they call it the San Fernando Valley? Because it was originally by the Indians living here. It was originally called... The Valley of Dust, because there were no mountains. James Wilson's checking in on Million Dollar Money Making Monday. Hey, we're talking real estate right now, James. I just talked about a great buy. But uh, the reason why the San Fernando Valley was called the San Fernando Valley way back when, you know, when Moses was walking on the planet Earth, is, is because there were no trees, there was no grass, there was nothing but open high desert and rolling hills and a little bit of streams and a few little... Uh, uh, seasonal rivers running through it, and it was high plains, and it was dust, wind, 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 dust. Dust would blow up, and it was called the Valley of the Dust. Yeah, bet you didn't know that, right? All right, let's go, all right, let's go check it out here. Okay, we've got a property here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to like this one. This is another repo. This is an REO, a repo. Oh, my goodness gracious. My good, oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. You see that right there, guys? A repo, a repossession. Repossession means the bank took it back because the people couldn't make their, their payments, okay? That's basically what it means. We're starting to see an increase in repos here in Southern California, slowly but surely, a little increase because the market has flattened out a little bit. But this one here, 748 East Avenue K6, not K9, East Avenue K6, Two hundred and sixty-five thousand nine hundred bucks. Now you're saying, wait, wait, wait. That's not that low, guys. This is Southern California. K 
Okay? People tell me all the time, oh, I can't buy a house for less than 500000 Yeah, you can. William Walker, you can do it. James Wilson, great director out there. Yeah, another great director. We get a lot of directors watching us, and I really appreciate that, guys. James Wilson, uh, brother of world champion Don the Dragon Wilson, they make a lot of great movies, and I think they're uh, looking for funding for a, another movie. I tell you, you see, when we talk about making money, we talk about the whole gamut here. Yeah, we're just talking real estate right now, and I'm tossing in some other things. Contact James Wilson. You know, he's looking for investors in one of his new projects. I think it's called uh, uh, something to do with uh, karate. And it's a second second show, the second film. Hey, James, what's the name of that film again, if you can tell me uh, uh, real quickly and let the folks know. Maybe we can get an investor or two coming your way. Say hi to Josef. Josef. Ramil Corzo. Corzo. Okay, back to this property now. 748 East Avenue, K6. Lancaster, 265.9. It's a repo owned by the bank. Real estate owned. It's gone back to the bank and they don't want it anymore. And look at that house. Look at that house. Is that like a brand new house? Four bedroom, three bath, 1,971 square feet. And you know that I like houses that have garages. And why do I like houses that have garages? Let's repeat it, because you can convert that garage into another bedroom and a bathroom and increase the value and square footage of the livable space in the house. Thereby, what does that mean? Bada bing, bada boom, the price goes up and you make money and you don't have to build the structure. You just got to make some adjustments inside and some light rehab work. Isn't that, isn't that just great? Yeah, put a little carport out there. You got it happening, man. Value of that property right now is under the market. I could turn that property right now for $375,000. You're saying, no way. Yes way. Just sold one down the street around the corner and up the alley. That's right, I did. $375,000. Look at that, two sixty five nine. I'm not BSing you guys. What, you think Jesse T plays around? Jesse T does not play around. No, you know that. I get on down, baby. I don't play around when it comes to making money. That's what it's all about. Million dollar money making money. Let's go back to my list here. Let's look for a couple of more. Then we're on to some other cool things that I'm going to put some money in your pocket. Hey, people say to me, hey, what about way out in pa 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 The girl named Mona. Oh, yeah. And her first name is Poe. Poe Mona. Yeah. Poe Mona, baby. Poe Mona. Poe Mona. Poe Mona. Poe Mona. Not Pomona. Pomona. That's right. Like Po. Yo, Po. Pomona. All right, how about this one? Hey, I'm putting it right up for you there. 2494 Stanford Avenue in Pomona. That's the, uh, that's the start of the, well, it's the end of the San Gabriel Valley, San Dimas, Pomona, um, uh, where the uh, L.A. County Fairgrounds is. And it's the start of uh, the Inland Empire. It's where Cali Poly Pomona is. It also abuts Orange County on the other side. All right, and it's really cool, man. This is a, a beautiful area to live, Pomona is. Look at this, 350. This is a probate listing. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about probates. Probates are cool to buy. Hey, Mike down here. Mike down here on Instagram Live. Mike, what's happening, brother? Good to have you along, and I love Lara MS. I do love you, baby. I love you. I'd love to put some money in your back pocket. And I'd like to take it out of your front pocket and help you buy a house. Thank you. Come on, what do you think? This is all for nothing? Hey, we, hey. The name of my company is Win, Win, Win. You win, then they win, then Jesse T can win. And together, we build a triangle. The strongest geometrical form known to mankind. That's why the pyramids have lasted forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Triangle. You know why? It's got a flat foundation on every side, and no matter where it lands, it's got a point pointing to the direction you should be going. You like that, huh? Boom! Yeah! All right, look at 2494 Stanford Avenue, Pomona, 350. This is a probate listing. It means somebody passed away, and they did not have a will or a living trust. Guys, it, you got to get a living trust. You have to have a will, but a will's not good enough anymore. You got to put it in the body of a living trust here in California. Then you can, when you pass away, then for sure, the executor or executrix will administer properly your last will and testament. But if you don't have that, you just have a will, it can be contested. And a lot of people that don't even have a will or a living trust, it gets contested. So you know who makes the decision for you? It is the court, the probate court, the judge. Who got the judge? Where is the judge? Who got the judge? He come the judge. He come the judge. That was from Ron Martin's laughing. 
For those of you that are only 25 years old, you have no idea what I'm talking about. He called him the judge. He called him the judge. All right. Sammy Davis Jr. played that part. I think a lot in Roland Martin's laughing. But nevertheless, probate means that uh, somebody passed away and they didn't have a will and they certainly didn't have a living trust. Because generally, if you don't have a living trust, if you don't have a will, you're not going to have a living trust. Okay? So you got to get yourself seek a, uh, really good to counsel. Get yourself a will drafted up and a living trust to make that happen. In fact, I got to update my father's living trust, Grandpa T. That's right. So you got to do that. All right? And, and that means that the judge makes the decision. Uh, the price is set by a BPO from a listing broker. And uh, the judge makes the final decision where the heirs can come and outbid each other or, or other people can. There's a certain formula that's used. But this is a good way to buy property under market. And why is that? Because it's the, the, the judge, the court, wants to liquidate this at a fair market price, but fast. Because they know that the heirs want the money fast. Okay, so you got it. So probates are really good to buy and look into. Three beds and one bath, 1,000 square foot house. And yes, you know what I'm talking about. You can see the picture right there, guys. That's right. It's got a one car attached garage. And what does that mean? Come on now, all together. We can increase the value of the property very quickly at low cost because there's already an attached room that can be converted into a bedroom and a bathroom. So now you got a three bedroom, one bath house, which is already about 50,000 under market, right? You put another bedroom and bathroom on there, you got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and you got a house that's like close to 500,000. You see how that works? Bada bing! Bada boom! You got it. Let's go back one more time. We're going to do one more and then we're on to some other things here and change the topic. We got to talk about other ways of making money. Let's go up high in price now. We're going to go up high in price. We're going to jump up there now, and we're going to jump up close to a million dollars. I like to I like to hit some of these too because there's money to be made right here. Million dollars. All right, let's do this. Granada Hills. Granada Hills. Million. You look at that beautiful house with a view in Granada Hills. My, is that gorgeous? That sits on an acre, almost three-quarters of an acre of land, okay? 5,216 square foot house. It's a short sale. Now, you know, guys, I don't like short sales. And you know why I don't like short sales? I don't like short sales because the bank has a final decision. They can change their mind at the last second. But if you do win in a short sale, it's a good way to buy. There used to be nothing but short sales 10 years ago, and that's all we did. Boy, I got burned out on short sales. But anyhow, as long as the paperwork is correct and... Uh, and everything is done properly. A short sale is good to do. Bahunt, Bahunt, Bahunt 01. Bahunt, Bahunt. You guys are saying, what are you talking about? Well, Bahunt just checked in. Bahunt 01, baby. Thank you, man. All right, so here's a short sale. 17853 Ridgeway Road, Granada Hills. Granada Hills. You got to say it like that. Granada Hills. That's the San Fernando Valley. 5,216 square foot house, five bedroom, five bath. It's a sh 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 short sale. No, it's not just for short people. What do you think this is? Discriminatory real estate? 101? No. Midgets just can't buy this house. Of course, it would be fun to see a bunch of little people running around that balcony, wouldn't it? Oh! Oh! I just got myself in trouble. What can I tell you? I love midget wrestling. I did back in the day with the WWE and midget roller derby was my favorite, and I love to go to the circus and watch the midgets. What can I tell you? I'm sorry. I'm not politically correct. What can I tell you? That's me, Jesse T. Anyway, there you go. 999000 bucks. Oh, we're already trying to fool me. Under a million? Well, I know this neighborhood real well. This is a very, very, very exclusive, nice neighborhood. And this house of this size right there, you want to know what the price really is? Why don't we try a million six? A million five, a million four. Hmm. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Let's look at some pictures. Come on, let's see some pictures here. Let's see what these pictures look like. There's another picture. There's another picture. How many pictures they got? They got a lot of pictures of the outside. Why do they have all pictures just of the outside for? What's wrong with them? Ah, oh, you know, maybe they can't get inside. Maybe the people trying to sell the house. I'm getting dizzy. Maybe the people are trying to, ooh, this is like a roller coaster ride. 
Sorry, guys. I know you, <laughs> you guys over here are going, what's that Jesse doing? Uh, I was spinning the pictures real fast. Okay. You got to go to the other YouTube channel. Check out all the production value that I'm throwing in on you here. Uh, 17853 Ridgeway Road, Granada Hills. I like the fact there's only two pictures. That means there's a problem going on there. And that's where you make money in people's problems. Okay? You got it, right? Granada Hills. There we go. So, Million Dollar Money Making Monday. I just tossed at you three good properties that you can make a lot of money at. Yeah. Hey, we got you covered. Right? That's what it's all about, right? Million dollar money making money, making a transition now. I got jobs, 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 jobs galore! How do you feel the power of the kingdom? Purchases in real estate, some foreclosures and repos, some probates and short sales. And so we're uh, kicking off the show here with some good real estate value for those of you who are into real estate and like to make money that way. And we uh, just had a great little piece right there about buying real estate. Saying hi to Leith Eaton and Tracy Elman, who has us on. Thanks a lot, Tracy. I oh, appreciate that you're checking in with us. Hey, let everybody know about Million Dollar Money Making Monday because we do talk about a lot of ways to make money other than just real estate. As you know, I'm a real estate broker, a loan uh, specialist, and a notary public here in the state of California for, you know, longer than the Dead Sea was alive. Yeah, that's going way back, you know, before Noah. Before Moses, I was here, man. Yeah, I was breaking bread with the Neanderthals. And some people rightly think I am a Neanderthal. Sometimes I think I'm a Neanderthal, especially when I don't shave. But I did shave for you today, and I feel pretty good. Hey, good to see you too, Tracy. Thanks a lot. Hey, we are now ch shifting gears right here, like uh, we do here when we're road racing, because we are road racing, baby. That's right. We are shifting gears, and what we're going to talk about now is jobs. Jobs. Jobs, because you can't do nothing in life without a job. Ain't that right? You gotta have a job. Right? You gotta have some money coming in from somewhere, right? You gotta have a job. I'm gonna get you some good jobs now. I'm always looking for good jobs for you folks, you know? And of course, thank God for Donald Trump, man. Boy, he is creating so many great jobs. Even though this isn't a politically uh, charged show on Monday, I usually do that on Friday. But I do have to get 
my jabs in every now and then, saying hi to Oscar Salinas, guys. Okay, good jobs right now out there for you. If you're looking to make a job shift, I got the old shift to Rooney happening for you right here. Amazon right now is hiring 3,000 remote jobs. Now, this is something really cool and different. A lot of big companies are starting to do this, okay? The nine to five job, the office job from nine to five, it's a day of the thing, man. You might as well kiss it goodbye. With AI, robotics, and automation, and outsourcing, this is how you make good money now, okay? Well, Amazon is a heavyweight. You know, Amazon was one of the first trillion dollar com companies, right? Right? You know, Jeff Bezos is getting divorced from his wife. Can you imagine the amount of money? She just got herself a $50 million house. $50 million, the freaking house is worth $50 million. She's getting that in a divorce. Oh man, I'll marry Jeff Bezos. Heck, I'll put on a brown wig. I even lose weight. Man, I better, I better call up uh, Bruce Jenner. I mean, Kendall Jenner. I mean, the he I mean, the girly boy. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I get sidetracked every now and then. Uh, Amazon, yes, e-commerce heavyweight is on the hunt. They're on the hunt. And they're hunting for you. They are looking for you. They're looking for you, man. You're on their FBI post or wanted number one. They have 3,000 remote jobs available. 3,000 remote jobs across 18 states. Can you imagine working for Amazon? How cool that would be. And you can do it from your PJs at home. Well, that, that might not be a good sight. <laughs> Gotta have some discipline, though. That's for sure. No one would want to see me and my PJs from home. Ugh. Well, maybe somebody would. I hope. Anyway, how recording to its posting, the only caveat is that the worker must live in one of the following states in order to be considered. Now, okay, guys. You know, the Jesse T Show broadcasts all around the world, on the air and everywhere, from the community to the world. So if you live in Alabama, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, Wisconsin, Wyoming. I don't know why I said it that way. I just did. I don't know why. They call it, you got to call the Flex Job Senior Career Specialist, Bree Reynolds, because the announcement is out there right now, and they are really looking for some cool things. Now, in these roles, customer service associates will work 100% from home, assisting customers mainly by phone, with some chat and email assistance as well. She also added that it's important for interested applicants to showcase their previous customer service experiences in this air application. But that doesn't necessarily mean call center experience either. Hey, maybe Jesse T should get a job there. Can you imagine me answering the phone? Hey, hey, it's the Brown Beauty on Duty, working for Amazon today. It's the Jesse T Show, and I'm right here to help you. How can I help you, customer service person? Any experience you've had interacting with the clients, customers, or the public, oh Lord, oh Lord, here we go, where you've been able to communicate, uh, where you've been, <laughs> oh, they don't want to hire me, Jesse T. Where you've been able to communicate well and be helpful can count, it counts for your possibilities of getting hired. You also want to make sure to highlight your ability to work really well under pressure and a very fast-paced environment and any previous work from home experience you have is really really well well appreciated okay so you can go to amazon and check that out hey we got jobs galore there's more jobs than that right now you bet i've got more jobs check this one out i've got five thousand more jobs for you to check out yeah yeah, I told you, I'm the job show. I used to have a show, I Got a Job for You. It was a nationally syndicated show, and what I would used to do when, when unemployment was real bad during the Obama, uh, pre, Obama times, when unemployment, Obama, bend over Obama. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I got a little coughing session going on there. Bend over Obama. <clears throat> sorry. Um, yes. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I developed a show called I Got a Job for You. And it was really a great show. And it was a, a show that really helped people get jobs. That's what I wanted to do. So I've got another thing that has 5,000 jobs. And uh, as soon as I find it, I'm going to talk about it because 5,000 more jobs for you to check out. It's crazy what's happening on the job front right now. Okay, ready? But this is the kind of job that you have to do just a little 
little bit of risk investing. Okay? All right? And your job is going to become a multimillionaire. That's going to be what this job is all about. Your job, you're going to be a multimillionaire. That's going to be your job. Okay? Silicon Valley could have 5,000 new millionaires, listen closely, after this year's tech IPOs. Now, you know I'm into IPOs. At least 5,000 tech workers could become millionaires after their companies go public later this year, according to an, anal an analysis from a big data realtor uh, in Silicon Valley. But it's not just for employees that are already working in these countries, companies. You can uh, do this IPO investing. That's investing in stock from like uh, Uber, Lyft, Pinterest, Airbnb. They're all going IPO this year. There are, there are firms that have IPO stock pre-IPO stock, you buy that stock from them, and when it goes IPO, man, you just watch the profits, okay? I did that with Facebook. Mm -hmm. Wish I would have did that with Apple and Microsoft and, A and Amazon. I wish I would have did that with AOL. I wish I would have did that. Oh, man, that was all through my timeline. Boom! <laughs> was I stupid or what? Don't be stupid. You're right. That's what the Chicanas in Pacoma used to be, say. Don't be so stupid. Well, I was stupid. Okay. All right. So you can do this, though. Uh, uh, check it out. There's some great companies. Airbnb, Instacart, Lyft, Planetar, Pinterest, Postmates, Slack, Uber, Lyft. I said Lyft already? Yeah. Are all companies going public this year? Okay. And you can get involved in this, and then your job is to be a multimillionaire and hire me, Jesse T. All these IPOs are coming on, and $150 billion to $250 billion are going to be unlocked in market capitalization over the next two years. That's when all this is happening, guys. It's going to be a new record. This year's 5,000-plus tech IPO millionaires would surpass the estimated 1,000 millionaires who emerged in 2004 from Google IPO. Facebook IPO in 12, that's this year's crop. Will surpass those time periods probably isn't surprising given the number of companies marching towards an IPO in 2019. But it does speak to the sheer amount of wealth that's about to flood California. Okay, guys? R.J. Johnson, hey, if you guys want to, let's, call, let's get together. Maybe we can pool our money resources, right? Because this is a million dollar money making Monday, and I'm all about making money. We can pool our money resources, and we all could go in and buy some maybe $10,000, thousand dollars worth of these IPO stock. And then we'll all be multimillionaires, and we can all dip our feet in the white sands of a pearly, beautiful beach on our own special island, drinking virgin Mai Tais, because I don't drink. Thank you very much. Okay, what's Warren Buffett saying lately? Hey, man, follow the money. You want to make the money? You got to follow the money. That's how you make money. Follow the money. Well, Warren Buffett's talking about retirement. So retirement is really important for a lot of people my age and older. Yes. Retirement? Wait a second. I'm only 28. Ha! <laughs> sure. Warren Buffett's plan for his wife's inheritance is a must-read for investors. Okay, check this out. This is what Warren Buffett talks about in terms of his, his what he's going to be doing for uh, one of the things he's going to be setting up for his wife, okay? And it's really interesting because one of the things that he's going to be setting up, and I think this is so important, there's going to be some other more sophisticated things he's going to do for his wife. I'm not going to talk about those right here. But Warren Buffett is going to invest 90% of his wife's inheritance into low-yield funds like Vanguard. Now write this name down. Vanguard. Very, very important. Vanguard. Okay? They've been around a long time. And it's sort of like a 401k in a lot of ways. Okay? And they're low yield funds. They go up and up and up at small increments. They're solid. They're conservative. They never lose. 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 They never, they never, they never lose, okay? Did I get my point across? Okay? Vanguard is one of many companies, but very good. That's what Warren Buffett's doing. Follow the money, guys. Buy gold, man. Gold sunk a little bit. It dropped to 1293 from 1233. It was a little high a couple of weeks ago. Buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. In fact, I've got a gold mine for sale. Did you know that? That's right. 
right here in the San Fernando Valley, 10 minutes from Burbank. I've got 20 acres of land abutting the National Forest here. And there's a roaring creek that comes down. And Cecil B. DeMille, the great film producer and director of Mo and Movie Mogul, he started his company. Uh, he owned about 125,000 acres in this general area where this gold mine is, just above Burbank area, just above these uh, big Tahunga, little Tahunga area. Is there in the mountains where all that burn happened a couple years ago, right? He owned a huge bunch of land. That's where he did all his movie shooting down, down that area. And uh, he had two gold mines. And he used to blow the mountains up with dynamite and then hydroblast them with the hydroblasting water, like that Clint Eastwood movie he was in, The Pale Rider, right? Remember that? And the rock and stuff would come down the Roaring Creek, and then he would pan for gold, have all those guys down there panning for gold nuggets. And he funded his whole first part of his movie mogul creation from these two gold mines. Well, I got one. I got them both for sale. And they still produce gold. You can't blow dynamite up and do hydroblasting anymore. You can't go in there and dig mines in the side of the mountain because it's national forest land that abuts this 20 acres. But this 20 acres has mineral rights, and it's got a roaring creek, and you can go pan for gold. And, and they do that a couple times a year, the current owner, and they always come up with a couple thousand dollars worth of gold, 500 bucks worth of gold, you know? Hey, yeah, man, I'm telling you, it's a gold mine for sale, and I can sell for you. He lost all his structures in the fire, and uh, it was about three million bucks for this at one time, but now it's down to 875 land value only, and I can sell this to you right now. He'll carry paper. He'll carry paper. Okay, you got it, right? He'll carry paper. Hey, you just don't know what Jesse T is going to come up with, a million-dollar money-making Monday. That's right. I got all kinds of ways to make money. If you just stay tuned and let your friends know and share and like, they're going to make money too and they're going to share it with you because you're going to tell them about our show. You want to pan for gold? Hey, why not? I got a gold mine for sale. I got a creek that produces gold. It doesn't produce a lot of it. I mean, you're not going to have tons and tons of gold like the United States of America. There's like 9,000 tons of gold. Okay, but by the largest gold holder in the world, China has like three. Okay, they're not as big and bad as you think they are, guys. Believe me. All right. Don't believe that fake news media. Anyway, um, we've got uh, a piece of property that you actually can dig gold on. So check it out. All right. I want you guys to do that. All right. So give me a call. For that, give me a call at 818-800-1343. Buy gold. Gold is down and it goes up. I remember the first time I bought my first ounce of gold. It was $289. Way back in 1970s. Late 1970s. All right. Hey, if you're going to buy a new car, don't bother. Buy a new car, don't bother. Unless, of course, you want to make money with that new car. If you want to make money with that new car, then buy a new car because it's something called car sharing. Sort of like Airbnb. You buy a new car and then you rent it out. So if you buy a new car and you put a little bit of down payment down and get the payment down to about $300 a month, you can make four or $500 a month on that car by renting it out. You can use that payment to pay off the car. Or you can use that payment to buy some gold or to buy some silver. Silver is at, what, $14, $15 an ounce? So there you go, making money. A million dollar money making Monday. We show you lots of ways to make that money, baby. That's right, we do. We don't stop. We keep going. You want to invest in uh, something? Invest in farms. Because, hey, uh, we all have to eat, right? There's great investment in farms. I've connected with a guy in uh, California here, Central California. He, he sells farmland. Actually, he sells these, these packages of general stock farms. And what you can do, you can put your money into it like a 401k. You can put your money into these giant, giant farms and they produce food. And you can invest in that because food never stops. We always need food, right? Yes? Food, baby. Invest in farms. Also, invest in water rights. I've got access to information for you how to invest in water rights. Investing in water rights is real important because if you don't have water in three days, you're a dead woman. All right, Americans, check this out. 50 bucks, seven stocks right here in the medical business in Mexicana. 50 stocks, 50 bucks will get you. All right, a $50 investment can turn your retirement into a million dollar retirement. All right, you want to start looking at that kind of stuff? We've got information for you about stocks in, in MJ, that's marijuana, or the cannabis business, okay? 66% of Americans now support the legalization of cannabis, okay? Big alcohol and big tobacco companies have started investing in medical marijuana startups. Why shouldn't you? Follow the money, right? Follow the money, all right? So there you go on that. So I wanted to let you know about that. 94-year-old inventor, guy invented a lithium-ion battery. 
He's invented this new battery. It's a glass battery. It is so friggin' cool. I read an article about this. It's a glass battery. It, 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 it's amazing. It's made out of glass, and it's a battery. Believe it or not, this guy's 94 years old. What a genius. He invented a lithium battery. Now he invented a glass battery. The new battery uses a sodium or lithium-coated glass electrolyte that has triple the storage capacity of a lithium-ion battery. It also charges in minutes instead of hours and operates in both frigid and hot temperatures. Early tests suggest the battery is capable of at least 12 Hundred charge discharge cycles, significantly more charging cycles than a comparable lithium ion battery. And hey, something cool. You want some more information on that? Show you how to make some money in that too. See these things, if you tune in to the Jesse T show, a million dollar money making Monday, every Monday, you'll find out about all these cool things to do. All right, let's go back to real estate though, because I want to touch bases on this. I got a great condo for sale in Harbor City. 1414, 260th Street, $25,000 under market, Joe Klein, $25,000 under market, and it's a great end unit, beautiful new floors, new kitchen, new bathroom, private, secured, uh, very, very safe, uh, near colleges, parks, the ocean, 10 minutes away, down to now 309000 and you can pick it up for probably a little bit less, maybe the seller will help you out with some closing costs too. I've got some secret stuff here, though, now. I can get you into this thing for 3% down, and your payment will be better than what you do in terms of paying rent right now, wherever you're at. That's right. So give me a call on that at 1-800-684-8699. Okay? 1-800-684-8699. I'll give you that number again. one 800 Six eight four eight six nine nine. Jesse T Show. Every Monday right here, it's Million Dollar Money Making Monday, where we talk about ways to make money. All kinds of ways. Jobs, gold, silver, IPOs, real estate. Following Warren Buffett. Following the guys who actually make the money. If you want to make money, follow where the money goes. We talk about it all. Cannabis business. We talk about even selling cherries, oranges, and bananas on the side of the freeway. Whatever it takes to make a buck, we're there with you because we want you to have some good luck. The Jesse T Show, always looking out for you, my friends. Every Monday right here on KTNT, Radio and TV Network, and the Power of Voices. Podcasting live right now on YouTube. Jesse Terrero. Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero Podcasting in just a few. We're live in person, on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. The Brown Beauty is always on duty. It's me, Jesse T. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Mike Tricky's checking in. Mike Tricky, everybody. He's written two great books. It's called Finding Home. Mike Tricky, everybody. This guy is a genius. He's a genius. He is a genius when it comes to being able to find homes and teach you all the ins and outs. Also, this book, if you're over 50 and you've never bought a home, Finding Homes for Over 50-Year-Olds. He's a genius, ladies and gentlemen. He wrote two great books, and I'm reading them right now. He's going to be on the show live right here on the Jesse T Show from the studio at thepowervoices.com at KTNT Radio and TV Network. That's Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Mike Tricky talking about his two great books, Finding Home and Finding Home Over 50. Pick them up on Amazon and everywhere. Every bookstore on the planet Earth Online has his books. And he's a funny guy too, man. We're going to be talking about a lot of cool stuff. That's Wednesday. Dan the Man and I are going to be out doing some cool stuff in Hollywood this week. So check us out. We'll let you know what's going on with that, okay? Saying hi and thank you to Mike Perdo, Susan Blackie, R.J. Johnson, Dean Olson, Oscar Salinas, Tracy Elman, Leith Eaton, Jose, Ramel Corozo, William Walker. Let's see who else had a song. 
Martin Gigi, James Wilson, Pauline Jester. Hoopa, 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 hoopa. Hoopa, Pauline. Ow! Yeah, I have no idea why I did that. Floyd Mayweather Jr. No, Floyd Matthews. John Polanco. Massimo El Cerche. Fabio Verde. Jose Yamas. Yamas, 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 Mark Duvall, and so many others, I can't read them all. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people. The Hunt 01. And Mike B. Thanks a lot for having us on the Jesse T Show. That's a word of all. The Brown Beauty is off duty. You have a great night and a great day. And you know where I'm going. It's time for me to get out there and start doing some training. You have a good one. We'll see ya. Take care.